are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Miami Marlins. As October draws nearer, the race for the postseason intensifies. A pivotal game for two division rivals. Next. Sanchez gets the call for game one of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you take a look at this guy's number. One of the things that jumps out at you is that ERA. It's into the fours. But that doesn't necessarily indicate what kind of pitcher this guy is. If he brings his A game, he can shut anybody down. The problem he's had so far this season, he's been a little bit inconsistent. He's a better pitcher than that ERA over the fours indicates. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, oh registering at 93 that time. Guys, this Marlins ball club, as they begin play here tonight, they do come in off a victory last time out, but they've really hit the skids here recently. Losers of eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Matty V, and you know what, D-Roll, this is when you really get it. Oh, look at the diving stop. It's in time. And that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off base. Great reactions on that one, and a good job to get down on the ground in time to smother. Still had to get up and make the throw, and of course, he did that too. And here's Jose Peraza. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. At the ball. Wow, third pitch of the game. That looked like a pretty good pitch. If that's called a ball, it could be a rough night for the pitchers tonight. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Working the plate is Larry Bullard. Hey, behind the dish, D row, Larry Bullard. Pretty standard guy, works it all. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. That is third. The center fielder. Mark Whipping Shaw. Prior to the at bat, a check on first. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Into the box, Mark Withenshaw. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And they tag him out, but this will work as a sort of a sacrifice as the runner moves up. That is four. The right fielder, number three, Bryce Harper. So next to the plate for the Phils, Bryce Harper. What a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Yeah, this guy's got the home run and runs batted in thing figured out for the triple crown, but he's not in the top five in the batting average if he wants to win the triple crown, so he's going to have to make up a lot of ground. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on the pitch well inside for strike one. behind with an 0 and 2 count now. Just don't understand the game plan right here. Walking up to home plate, you had to think you could potentially be pitched around. But now you find yourself down 0-2, and it's a battle. Now the 0-2. Off the plate, ball one. Peraza stands in second with two gone. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia, and now the Marlins will have a crack at things. No score. ready to go as he's on the mound for the Phillies. Dan Plezak, what's the word on it? Hey, Matty D, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been like white hot. How about a whip under 1.00 in his last three starts? Not a lot of base runners, and that usually adds up to a lot of success. Let's see if he can continue to do that in this one here today. Stepping up to the plate, Jonathan Villar. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. Villar! 
tried to golf at it, but he missed strike one. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, four and two over the last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, I think if you would have asked the manager of this team, first five games of this road trip, you're going to go four and one. He would have signed that in blood. So let the, let the guys continue to play the way they've been playing. Everything is going nice right now. And a good throw gets him one go. Up next for Miami, Miguel Rojas. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. Now here it comes. Outside, that's the ball. Bases are empty, one man out. That evens it up, one and one. And now pitch on the way. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Navarez finds it, and the throw to first is there to record the second out. That is perfect. Digging in, perfect Brian Anderson. Perfect. No one aboard for him, and two guys here in the first. Pitch on the way. Her ball just misses, apparently. 1 0. Bases are empty here with two men out. That misses yep, that ball Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2 0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Ah. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. The 2 1 home. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch. And it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three. And the inning is over. One, two, three go the Marlins. We are still scoreless. Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. First at bat for him here, and he enters play seventh in the National League in round trippers. Yeah, guys, this isn't a shocker right here. He is definitely known as one of the best pure power hitters in baseball these days. Here's the pitch. Ball, oh, that's out. Taken for ball two. Hey. Two balls and a strike. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. The 2 1. Inside ball one. This is where you cash your checks right here. 3-1, you're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Here's a swing and a miss at the off-speed pitch. It's a full countdown, three and two. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changer. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. That's the difference in today's games. Pitchers will throw any pitch in any count. The batter was able to deliver on a 3 2 great move. Here's Jay Bruce now. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He'll start this one at 269. 
an even 20 home runs, and an even 50 RBI. Oh, one. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Changes up on him, and that's in the dirt for the ball. A runner at first with no outs here. Well below the knees, laid off on the change up there. Not what you want to do on the mound, go from 0-2 to 3-2, but credit the man in the box for being patient, even with two strikes. baseman will have a look at it but this is back into the seats here comes the payoff pitch and he will take ball four first and second now with nobody out Always tough to issue a free pass, but That's especially tough. troublesome the third when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Now with the play, Justin Turner. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. He's going, he's going, he's going. Both runners are breaking. Can't sit back long enough and the count evens up at one and one. None out, runners at first and second. Hey. Wallman, two strikes. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you could tell these things and exploit them. Standing in now, Omar Narvaez. All for that and missed. Here's the throw. There in plenty of time. He's out trying to steal third as they get the lead runner here. Hey. Good strike, 0 and 2. A down 0 2. He better be leery of this guy's nasty changeup. He has the ability to bury it down and away or down and in wherever he wants to. So you got to be on point with this one. Count is 1 and 2 now. No score here as we play inning number two. Mitch swung on and hit toward VR at second. Right to him. Throw on the first, oh. gets him, and the side is retired. Billy strand one. We go to the bottom of the second. No score. Strike one. Not much you can do with that one. Tied him up in knots. One and oh, one. Now the count to the Marlins' first baseman. 
Okay, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. The 1-1 one, one home. Swung on and missed, and that's strike two. two strike. When a hitter is showing he's unable to resist those inside pitches, you just might as well keep going in there and hope he keeps chasing. Those weren't strikes, but he wanted to hit them anyway. The 1-2. One, two. two balls, two strikes. in right center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Harold Ready now. Harold Ramirez. And he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now here it comes. First pitch oh, is a fastball play. inside. 1-0. Inside, 2 and 0. Pitch on the way. Too tight with that ball one. Three. 3 and 0. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Aye. 3 and 1 to the Marlins left fielder. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Bottom of the second here with no score. Three, Gets two. him to swing and miss there. Three and two. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Three two pitch. It's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Hate to be Captain Obvious here, but he looks great to begin the start. That's already three K's for him in the first five hitters. It'd be awesome to see him keep up this pace. So coming to the plate, number 51, and he's a strong candidate for Rookie of the Year honors. If he can avoid a collapse here in the final months, it's been a great first campaign in the big leagues for him so far. Here's the pitch. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. Swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, look at Turner. Hey, now. They call it the hot corner for a reason. And this is a beauty to take us to break. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Start the inning. It's ball one. And this one's over for a high strike. One and one. Now here it comes. And here's a fastball. Not close as he runs it to two and one now. I certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Now here's the pitch. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hot 
picked him up. Over to the left, but playable over in foul ground. And there's out number one. So with one gone now, we get a look at where these guys sit in the current division standings. And you can see them staring up at a five-game deficit entering play today. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring in Gene Segura. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. Now the pitch. Not surprised he's late on the heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Segura behind on a one and two count. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. Up with it, Alfaro. He makes the throw to first, two down. Now with the play, Jose Peraza. Jose Peraza. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hey! Third inning, no score to this point. Slap hard the opposite way. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Home half of the third coming up, no score. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far with these guys. Six up, six down. Let's see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they appreciate it. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he gets ahead 0-1. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. And he lays off for ball one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Here's the pitch. Lays off two and two now. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Fastball ah. called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. So with one out for him here, this obviously a big game as you check out the standings on your screen, and you can see their lead is just one game entering play here today. Stepping up now, Monty Harrison. You can do it. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. 1 0. What makes hitting so difficult is covering both sides of the plate. And that hard pitch right there that was inside makes it awfully tough now to cover both the inside and the outside part of the plate. Ball on the strike. One one. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. A 1 1 home. Boy, he just threw that fastball by him. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. So we got him swinging. Monty Harrison becomes out number two this inning. The pitcher, number three. Stepping in now, Sanchez. That's 
strike two away. He'll swing and miss at a first pitch fastball for strike one. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Eight, two. Oh, and two. Marlins are still on the lookout for their first hit of the ball game. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Miami down in order. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low scoring affairs. Yeah, come back with yep, one and the third as the count moves to two and one now. In there, two, two and two. Two balls, two strikes. And it's three up balls, to a three, two, two full count now. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's going to beat me. Three, two, pitch. Sharply, but foul down the right side. And he lays nope. off there, ball, ball four. four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. Well, in a scoreless game, you want to do anything you can to jumpstart your offense. With the speed of this guy on first, don't be surprised if he gets the green light here. So here's the cleanup point. Bryce Harper looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first half. Hey. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. Ball. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball. One and one. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And they get dirty, but he's back in safely. Another throw over, hey, hey, hey. keeping particularly close tabs on him. Now the one and one pitch. On the ground is short. This could be two. Over to VR. On the first, and that takes care of Harper as well. It's a double play. Doesn't come much easier than that. Taylor made a 6 4 3 double play and an easy one to turn. Digging in for his second at bat, Reese Hoskins. He reached on a single in his first try. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Whoa, oh, that's upstairs. Now the 1 0. That's out. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Into the corner and slicing foul. Now the 2 1 pitch. Count now at two and two. Now here it comes. 
hit hard to short. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Hey guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. Into the box now, Jay Bruce. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls in the strike. He'll start this one at 269. An even 20 home runs and an even 50 RBIs. The 0 1. Ball, that's outside. Two and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. He's set. Here's the three and two. Four, four. And that misses for ball four. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. So two on with two away, and that'll bring up the third baseman, Justin Turner. He's set, and the pitch. No runs, three hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Drill right back up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. Now a long throw home. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. You know what I like right there, Dan, is the batter's approach. Not trying to do too much, just taking it right back up the chute again, staying within himself, and just knowing that anything to the outfield gets him in all the way. That's a good piece of hitting. That's a great point of view. I think a lot of times hitters go up there trying to do a little bit too much. Sometimes you just have to go ahead and get the ball where it's pitched, and a good job, and a run batted in. Omar Narvayan is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1-0. One, -oh. one and one the count now. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Ready with the 2 1. And I got fastball, one. but he's losing it a bit here to 3 and 1 now. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Out of the stretch, the 3 1 okay. home. Swung on and missed 3 and 2. Coming up now on 30 pitches in the inning. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Harrison will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Phillies will have to be content with just the one. To the bottom of inning number four we go. Philadelphia is on top, one to nothing. Digging in the switch hitter, Jonathan Villar. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Comes the first pitch. 
try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. To the plate now, Miguel Rojas. She'll take a look at the strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. Nobody out, runner on first. One and one. Played an in, it's a ball and a strike. Throw over to first, runner back safely. Particularly close tabs on him. One one home. play for a ball. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Just off the inside part of the play is 3-1. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Here's the 3 1. Nope. And he That's lays ball off ball. here. Nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. This is only their second oh, base runner of the game after that earlier hit. Yeah. Cut the score where you don't have oh, anyone on base, so we'll see if they can get something going here. And well, that'll bring in Gary Cooper. As he'll look to bring home that time run from second with the base hit into the outfield. Here's the first pitch to him. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. First and second now. One man out. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 and out. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the heart of the plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Outside, 3-0 now. 
Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitch is falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Full count now, three and two. I don't blame the batter for pulling the trigger right there. Those fastballs light up your eyes, and you can occasionally do damage with them. But he wasn't able to catch up with that. And he misses again, ball four. Well, it's obvious he wanted absolutely no part of the three or four hole hitters. But he's got to focus here because this guy in the five hole is just as dangerous. Riding in once again, Harold Ramirez, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First pitch on its way. Here's a drive toward the gap in right center, and that's going to split the alley for extra bases. VR scores. Loaded and he was looking to drive them all in the second he stepped into the box. Puts a big swing on this thing, and the ball just gets down to the wall, allowing everyone to come around and score. He'll take a three-run double every day of the week. So now to the plate, number 51. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Digging in, Jorge Alfaro, runner in scoring position with two runs. He's ready, here's the first offering. Ball. And he takes ball one. Ball one he no certainly play. has an open base down there, but you don't want your defender standing flat-footed for much longer. Pitch on the way. That's a ball. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. Two off count. Pitch. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. Morrow in front, three balls and a strike. Well, to me, it just looks like he's really aiming the ball a little bit right now. And it's funny, when you do that, you usually don't have as good a control as you do when you just let it go free and easy. He loses him on ball four. Wow, you know he's not happy with that call. When it crossed the plate, it sure looked like a strike to me. Seemed to catch a ton of the plate. That's a tough way to give up a walk, but he's got to put it behind him now. Now batting, Monty Harrison. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon, and this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. Looked at oh, off the plate for a ball. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. The 2-0 on the way. It's 
Offered at and missed for the first strike. Ooh that was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. All even now, two and two. away three runs already home here another one sent foul hey three foul balls in a row right here searching for that put away stuff Two, two, one more time. The is full. Oh, for the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. He struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. So they pick up three runs on only two hits in the inning, no errors, and two left. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the Marlins three and the Phillies one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. All right, thanks, Heidi. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Paul Irvin, his last at bat, didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Here comes the first pitch. And this one one's down off the shoe tops, 1 0. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Misses, ball two. Okay. In this situation right here, I'm protecting my pitcher from himself. I know he wants to swing the bat and let the boys know in the clubhouse that he can do his job, but I'm probably putting a take sign on right here. Three and oh now. It's amazing how guys can lose focus sometimes when the weaker hitters come up, especially the pitchers. You've got to stay on the attack and minimize pitches and get these guys out in the hurry. 3 0 pitch. He's looking hey. for the first strike. And That's that can't four. find the That's zone good. either. It's ball four, and on just five pitches, he's walked the pitcher leading off the inning. Mm. The man, the pitcher's wondering how he did get that call. Busted him inside on a 3 1 count. The Yump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind an account like that, though. First delivery to him on the way to third. The second for one on the first, and they get them both. Nice job on the mound to bounce back with the leadoff block. Those are usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. Peraza. First pitch on its way. Oh, that's low. Hey, a two out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. 
Not Good close ball. with the no off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. Three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that. And he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. And the cutter can't find the zone as he surrenders the base on balls here. Yeah, and I'm not sure I agree with it either. Most pitchers, like when they're in a group, they just want to get back on the bump and compete. Sometimes visits like these are just like a formality. into the box Mark Withenshaw and at first after the two out walk that's a look now the pitch Aye. all in one in the dirt here but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance Three to one our score as we play inning number five. Here's a look over first. A dive, but he's back. Hey. The slider is in there, and now it's one and two. It's one and two. Seem to find the strike zone. And he fouls this one off. Now another 2 2. Got a full count. No pitcher likes to take the count to 3 and 2, especially when you throw a non competitive pitch like that on 2 and 2. That one wasn't even close. Yank high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Here comes the payoff pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. The next 3-2. Lifted in the air out to left. Ramirez will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Marlins, Sanchez. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. He's ready. Here's the first offering. That's popped up. Hoskins onto the grass, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Hey, I've been impressed with this guy. Not only is he throwing the ball well, but now he's mixing in a base hit late in the game, giving his manager options. Whether he's not run, keep him in there, go to the relief. I mean, he's opened up a whole weapon in the box. Into the box, Jonathan Villar. Hey. As he takes a cold oh, strike at the knees, it's 0-1. A hit and two tries for him so far. Here's the 
0-1 pitch. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. After falling down 0-2 on the same pitch, don't be shocked if he triples up on it. And this is foul tipped as he stays alive here. But meanwhile, that ball came right back at our home plate umpire, and he may need some attention at this moment. Ready with another 0-2. Hey, the fish ain't biting one there on that 0-2 yeah. breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think that what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing high levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter, do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Miguel Rojas stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1 0. No hits to this point. Swung on, missed in that strike one. One one. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. Runners on first with one down. Him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single in the scoring position. We have clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, man. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. And now, Brian Anderson. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. It was a walk in his last trip. Comes the 0-1. Yeah, one ball, one strike. Swing and a miss out in front one of ball, the changeup. Two strikes. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. And a fastball is hit on the ground towards short. Segura fields it cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. One left for Miami as the lead remains three to one. Here's Bryce Harper now. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will beat you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. 2-0 oh now. Here's the pitch. Hey. To two and two now. This pitch is bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Two two one more time. Again he sends it out of play. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Looking to punch him out again. The pitch. Swing and a screamer but this one's not going to stay fair. And they're 
work in the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's Not ball bad. four, That's so the leadoff hitter's aboard mm -hmm. to start the six. Striding in, Reese Hoskins. He singled his last time. Delivery to him on the way. Hit down the third baseline. Haskins behind to count 0 and 2. And now the Marlins bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right hander start to get loose. We're in the sixth inning here in a 3 to 1 ball game. Yeah, I don't know until he misses with a fastball. Tried to hold up there. Peeled down at first and no swing. It's ball two. Ball three. Three and two now. One thing to take note of is how these last two batters have really driven up this pitch count. He's had to use 14 pitches already on them, and he's not even through this guy yet. 14 is near the top end of what you want to throw in a complete inning. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One guy. Good time now to check out the Marlins road to the now show that. report. As you see good. a couple of players in the Great. upper levels of the minors that have been making waves as of late. Nope. Ball one. A ball of no strikes. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game. Now, the problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Ready with the 1 0 -oh now to Bruce. Aye. A ball and a strike. Runner at first here, one man out. This one misses to Bruce as he moves out in front. It's two and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Man, he just missed the zone right there. One of the toughest pitches in the game, that backdoor cutter. As an offensive player, you give up on that pitch. As soon as it comes out of the hand, the next thing you know, it's trying to grab the corner. Three and two, full count. Hit to short. Scooped up. There's one. On the first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Down quickly go the Phillies. Four holds, it's three to one. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Garrett Cooper. Over one with a run scored thus far. The first base pitch, Garrett. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one. A couple of lighties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Breaking ball falls in there for a strike. It's one and one. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit, but unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger. A pie, two and one now. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself in trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's right, been there, but two two. it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable.
pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now, and I'll tell you, he could whack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Into the box now, Harold Ramirez. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. This is one and one. Grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. One out, nobody on. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base. And that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Standing in now, number 51. So we watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. And with just five and two thirds innings under his belt, he's about to hit the century mark in his pitch count now. Yeah, Matty D, and the way baseball is played these days, it's about six innings or 100 heaves, and you're pretty much looking for that bullpen. And D will right now, this guy's pretty vulnerable right now at this game. Yeah, Dan, you were a monster down that bullpen. That's what it seems to be in today's game. There's five or six of you guys hanging out down there. So he's going to empty the bucket right here until the manager gets it. Two two. There's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. One two three. Go the Marlins, and it's still three to one. Seventh inning, ready to roll. And digging in at the play will be Justin Turner. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a boop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. The great equalizer, the changeup. That was a really good job of getting him to offer that one out of the zone. And it was all set up by the fact that he got ahead of the count and forced the hitter to have to protect. That's the name of the game. Stepping in now, Omar Narvaez. As he rips it on the ground to second. He's got it on the first, and it's a quick start to the seventh, but now there are two away. Now back the pitcher. Cole Irvin. Corey Dickerson will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Hitting for the pulling. Number 12, Corey Dickerson. One ball, no strikes. The average to start play at 315. Still without a home run and four RBIs. And 
And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Hey. Uh, ball and two strikes now. Ball here, and this is softly hit and fouled off to the left. And it's fouled away. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas. So when you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. Fouled off. Hey, this is a heck of a battle right here. Long A.B. You know what? They find themselves still facing the starter. If they would have had some A.B.s like this earlier in the game, I, I, I think they get into the bullpen by this time. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. And now this will be the tenth pitch of the at-bat. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Ladies Phillies down in order. They still trail it here three to one. Mike Morin gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Mike Morin. So digging in now, Jorge Alfaro was a walk in his last trip. First pitch coming, here it is. Two swinging. Warren was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. The one-two misses for the second ball. Back up the middle. And there's a big set. So a chance for some insurance here to start out the whole half of the seven. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in. Kept his hands inside the baseball. And ripped the base hit up in there. Oh, right there. They can't get the score. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Into the box, Monty Harrison. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Morin has racked up over 70 innings on the mound with a dominant sub three ERA, good by anybody's standards. Nobody out, runner on first. Ball one. Ball one. Fouled away. Morin has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. Working for the punch out and the offering. Whoa, that pitch is out. Got 
Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this now, battle. So they've really Number figured three. out how to attack this guy. Jesus Sanchez will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch Number hit with a runner at first and Thank one you. gone in the inning. Sanchez. High and deep down the line in right. Harper is back near the stands as he hauls it in for the second out. Back to the top of the Miami lineup now and stepping in, Jonathan Villar. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. In there, strike one. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. A hard ground ball to third. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. And now he has some trouble with it in left. System, especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. First pitch coming, here it is. And he lays oh, off there, 1 0. Oh. Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. Ready with the 1 0. -oh. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. Second and third, two away. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. So it's no run on two base hits, one Philly error, and a couple of men left. Eighth inning coming up. Miami's out in front, three to one. Bruce Steckenrider will summon from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 71. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Gene Segura. He's hitless in three at bats to this game for Philadelphia. Here comes the first pitch. Hey! hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. A ball and a One strike and to the Phillies leadoff man. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. 2-1, here it is. This one up. Cooper shading to his right. One down. The Here's a look at the final line for the Marlins starting pitcher. He was on point from the get go this evening. Matty B, really a solid performance. Seven strong innings pitched in line for the win. Needs some help for the bullpen to close this one out. Late now, Jose Peraza. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He's one for two in this one.
Here comes the 1-0. And he fouls this one off. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Slider misses and he's in danger of losing him here. Three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And this is hit in the air over toward the left field line. Ramirez is over to his right, and he puts this one away for out number two. Now batting. Two very the good fielder. pitching performances oh. illustrated there as With we give you a look at our starter comparison in this three to one contest. Stepping in, Mark. Withenshaw, over two of the walk for him so far. From the stretch. No, that Lays can. off 1 0. Now here's the ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Number 51 retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Morgan Rodriguez is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Morgan Rodriguez. Digging in once again, Brian Anderson was retired via the ground the ball last baby. time up. Brian Anderson. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Drill down the line. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. And the Marlins have something cooking. It's a leadoff double. Got a close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, he was staring at his last at bat right there. Probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A.B. in this one, but he's able to get it done. Hey, better late than never, and I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there, he's thinking, this very well could be my last A.B. of this game, so if I'm going to keep this streak alive, I'm going to have to do it right now. Here it comes. Gary Cooper stands in as he looks at a called strike. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. No one out with a runner at second. in there and he's deep in the hole now 0 and 2. Yeah this is straight survival mode down 0 2 the numbers are definitely not with the batter here. And it's fouled away. Here's another 0 2. Oh, Didn't miss by much there, but it's just a bit high. The one-two. It's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. That was aggressive pitching in that at that, and I like seeing that. He showed now all the hard stuff until the fifth. And final oh. pitch for the strikeout. Run. When you work You're off right. your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. At the plate, Harold Ramirez has the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. This is going to be an interesting at bat. 
I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here. So we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. And there's right there. one. Hey. One and two. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole the strike. One two is the cut fastball, but he holds back two and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Runner at second here with one man out. Struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Now, after back-to-back -back strikeouts, he's got a real good now chance of making that leadoff double one. pretty much meaningless. He's made some good pitches, and these hitters have really failed driving him in, or at least getting him over. So now to the plate, number 51 fouled off. Could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Fouled away. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Curveball, but he can't get him to chase it one and two. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Marlins lead one, but they hang on to a three to one lead. on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Strike to even the count one ball, of one. one one. Two balls, one strike. Two and two. Two. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Ready with another 2 2. Fastball. Got him looking. That had two seam action on it. One gone. So the leadoff man gone to strike the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you oh, see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Digging in now, Reese Hoskins. He's two for three thus far. First 
pitch of the end. That on its way. That's a ball. That's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. Bases are empty, one man out. One ball and one strike for the Phillies' first okay, baseman. One one. Ground ball, left side. Feels it cleanly. On the first, yeah. and the Phillies are down to their final out. The left fielder, Jay Bruce. At the plate, Jay Bruce. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Here's the first pitch to him. And that's in there for strike one. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s, down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming, and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. Now this small but vocal crowd come to their feet. And he fouls this one off. Philly down to their last strike. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Alfaro corrals it. Throw the first. Yeah. It's going to be in time to take care of them. And the Marlins taking the opener here at home as this ball game is over. For a quick series like this, you take the first one, you're guaranteed at least the split. They'll take that every single time. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. The Miami Marlins seal up their 30th win at home on the season. Sanchez earns his eighth victory of the season. Paul Irvin racked up 12 strikeouts but still ends up taking the loss. Ryan Stanek earns the save out of the bullpen, number 36 on the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Pulzak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us 